Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, uh, today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. We got a little strange subject today because, you know, a lot of people are selling life insurance and, you know, people die every day. So our subject for today is selling who's buying cremation services and why it sells. What did he say? I said selling who's buying cremation services and why and how does it sell. It does pretty good. See, it's been around. Cremation has been around for a long, long time. I mean, they've estimated going back as far as over 2,000 years. And in this regard, in this day and age, uh, because people don't make uh, sometimes a lot of money, they are in a bind. They don't have any insurance. They don't have any coverage. But sometimes they do. And what they want to do is they want to make sure that they're able to take care of their family member or their significant other and make sure that at least they're able to get them taken care of when they pass away. Yeah, I know it sounds a little morbid and whatever, but see, it's really important that we have this conversation. You know, selling who's buying cremations, everybody's buying cremation services. You know, I've had this conversation with people in my own family. You know, I've decided in my own life, you know, that, hey, listen, you know, um, I, I don't want to leave a burden on my family. Now, you got some folks that want to be cremated and you got some folks that want to be buried. Some folks don't want to be burned up. And I've had this conversation with customers and they've told me, oh, I don't want to be on fire. I don't want nobody to burn up my body. But then you got other people who are more secure in themselves and they say, I don't really care. What can I do to save money? And they go with the cremation. A lot of time cremation, you know, can run anywhere for about $1,100, sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. And you have some differences because see, a lot of times when people have uh, cremations, they're pretty much on a budget or they've made a decision. That's what they want to do. You know, if you have funeral services or if you have a casket or you're, you're wanting an embalming, those things are not necessary, but you can have those done so you can do the things called viewing. We have customers and people who want to be viewed uh, because they have loved ones that want to say goodbye to them. But some folks, you know, I've had conversations with, they don't really care. I've had people say some things that, that are kind of just go ahead and, you know, burn me all up and then just pour me down the toilet. You know, I would never think that would be a great idea. But, you know, I don't think that's very proper. But sometimes people, they don't really care because once they're gone, they don't really care what happens to them. But, you know, in this regard, it is our family members. It's very important. And to have this conversation with your family members is very important because, see, people, they don't like to talk about death because they think, if I talk about it, it's going to happen. Well, it's going to happen anyway. So you got to have this conversation. And our subject for today is selling. Who's buying cremation service? Why it sells? It sells, first off, because it's affordable. Now, a lot of times people do it because it's easier than having a blown out funeral where it could cost up to twelve to $15,000, sometimes even more. And in this regard, a lot of people's budgets don't always have that in it. And a lot of times when people pass away, if they don't have any kind of insurance at all, they are stuck. And a lot of times some people, they feel guilty, so they go ahead and have a funeral and they put it on credit cards or they have to finance it. Finance it. And that's why insurance and life insurance and final expense is so vitally important. And it's also a great idea if you're thinking about being cremated to go ahead and have this service done so that way your family doesn't have to worry about spending any money out of pocket. You know, it's a tremendous thing. I mean, literally, guys, you have to have this conversation, you know, and, and I know it sounds a little morbid because see, some of the things that you'll run into when you go to get cremated is, you know, the first thing is you're going to have to, you know, it, they're going to make sure the person that they're they're going to cremate is the person that they are. You know, if there's any metal in the body and stuff like that, at the end, it's going to be uh, taken out and it's going to be pretty much grounded up. They're going to put you and, uh, you know, they're going to move you to a retort or a cremation chamber. And that's after they've prepared you. A lot of times people use the wooden caskets or they'll use the uh, paper cardboard uh, type um, boxes so that way they can move the body and it can be, you know, just, you know, taken care of and cremated in a timely manner. 
you know, I seem a little tongue tied when I talk about this because it's such a it's such a crazy subject. But, you know, I don't see a lot of people really discussing it. And I think we need to have this conversation. You know, there are companies who make money off of this and they do this because they know that, hey, it's affordable. I mean, eleven hundred dollars versus fifteen thousand, twelve, ten thousand. It is a tremendous amount of money savings. And you, I have life insurance on myself, okay? What if you were to pass away, you were an older person, you got some insurance, you only had like about $5,000 worth of insurance. What would happen is, is a lot of times there wouldn't be enough money to go ahead and get a full blown out service. Somebody come out and look at you, prepare the body, go ahead and put you on display, and then put you in a casket and, you know, put you in the cemetery. And a lot of times people don't have that extra money and five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars worth of insurance you know would probably pay a nice portion of it but then they would still be stuck with a, a percentage and it's not very comfortable to have that you know in the back of your mind that you know you didn't take care of yourself and your responsibility some people don't care they don't really they don't care if they're gonna leave a burden on their families or not but i'm gonna tell you what i do i'm one of them kind of guys that cares so if you got like a five or ten thousand dollar policy what you can do is leave a legacy. You can say, hey, listen, you know, I don't necessarily need to be viewed, but some people, they want to be viewed and they want to be looked at. So you can have a basic funeral with the, with the cremation for less than about $3,000. Now, they would leave them a couple of thousand dollars, at least through the transition period after you pass away to be able to take care of business, take some weeks off from work, try to get things taken care of at the house or apartment or condo or wherever you're living, and then at least this way they would have a little bit of transition money now if you've got a tremendous amount of insurance that's real good but a lot of times people wait till they're older when they buy final expense and life insurance and a lot of times they only get anywhere from five to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars and that may sound like a lot of money but it really isn't it's a lot of money that'll help a person change where they're at because people when some of your significant other passes away you got a grieving process you got a grieving time you're you're just frustrated you're scared you don't know what you're going to do you got all these bills that you got to pay by yourself and i've seen some people that that struggled but because they had some insurance in play and they had things taken care of because they pre, you know, set the, you know, the, the capability to have the person cremated or buried, it wasn't such a big burden. And see, what happens is, is if you at least have some insurance, you can kind of budget what do you want to do with the money. Now, here's the thing. I told my family I want to be cremated. And the reason why I want to be cremated is because I want my son and my family to have a legacy. It's some money that will be there so they can go ahead and, and when they get my house and when they get the cars and everything, they can take care of the taxes. I want them to be able to be secure and then that way they don't have to come out of pocket down the road. It's really important. And I, I like insurance. I believe in it. I got it on me. I got it on my family. I got it on my son. And it's there in a time of need. But for me personally, cremation, you know, I've had family members that were cremated and they did a really good job and they took care of them. And they did it in a way that was very dignified. You know, I had a brother of mine who passed away. You know, he, he had a battle of life. So we took him to a cemetery there at a battlefield. It was kind of nice. You know, we were able to. I've had friends of mine that did things where they went and took him to the beach. I had my grandmother. I went to Duke Park in North Carolina when she was cremated. I took a portion of her and put her in a koi pond that was there when I was a little boy that she took me to when I was a child. And I, and I grieved about it. And I sat there under with all these flowers and plants and everything that I put some of her ashes and it was a big deal and then also she loved the beach so I took some to the beach and I celebrated her life that way cremation doesn't have to be scary it doesn't have to be bad but see if you're selling cremation services just put yourself in their place you know be you know kind of kind to them but you got to be honest with them you got to say hey this is going to happen you don't have to invest in it today but eventually you're going to pay and it's either pay us now and go ahead and pre-plan for it and prepay for it over a, a, an amount of time and you knock it out you don't have to worry about it but i did my research like i said i went online and saw that the average price for a cremation is about 1100 bucks now if you want they earn and stuff like that you can get them anywhere from 69 up to three or four four hundred dollars it's depending on what you're trying to do but if you are a person like myself 
just put me in a great plastic bag. You know, one of the things that I want done and when I pass away is to take me to the beach. Take me to the beach and just let me be a part of the ecosystem. And another thing that would be really nice is if you put me under a tree. You know, that would be great. You know, and see, I'm already going to be passed. I'll be in heaven with God and Jesus. And see, here, I don't know what you believe. But some religions say you can't be cremated. Then you got some people that say, I don't want to be cremated. So you got to let people, you know, fill them out. You got to ask questions when you're trying to help people make decisions with life insurance and, and insurance in this regard. You know, what you're going to be left with is, like I said, when you're done, when they give the family member the the urn or the bag that would have the, the, the body, which has been, you know, completely grounded up and everything because it's already been, you know, in the in the uh it takes about three to four hours a couple hours i think two to three hours for you know industrial furnaces to work and the practice and the preparation and getting them all set up sounds kind of gory but it really isn't guys everybody's going to pass away we have to have this conversation with our customers we need to have this conversation with our family members our friends and see, if you if you talk about it, it makes it less harder to deal with. You know, my, me and my family, we're pretty much wanting to save as much money. We don't want to leave a burden on our family. And we want to leave as much insurance money as possible so we can help the next generation. You know, my son will be taken really well care of. He'll have a nice house that he can do with what he wants. He can sell it. He'll ha have the capability to not have to worry about dear old dad when the time comes. Remember what I said, they do have pre-planning capabilities where you can pre-plan in advance for either your funerals, for what you're interested in having, your viewings, and you have the capability to pre-plan and go ahead and have your, your ashes and cremations taken care of in a timely manner. It doesn't take a lot of time. It is a stressful time, but it's easier if people have an idea of what you want, to done, you know, want done. I want to be cremated, you know, because I'm going to be in heaven. I ain't going to worry about it, but like I said, I want to leave a legacy. You know, our subject for today is selling. Who's buying cremation services and why it sells? A lot of people are having cremations. We got less land than ever, and people are stacking bodies on top of each other to save money and make it more cost efficient. You know, I've seen some in some graveyards where there are urns and stuff where people have been cremated. They'll put them in there. And then you got some people, you know, it's just a kind of a, I know, a strange subject. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all when it comes to selling. And life is worth living, but you got to want to live. You know, but you also got to remember everyone dies. Everyone. I don't care who you are. It is, like I said, not a great subject to talk about, but sometimes you have to talk about things that are scary, sad, and frustrating. Because, see, it's going to happen. And if you wait to the last point and you never had that conversation with your significant other, with your children, with your parents, with your friends, you don't know what to do. And they're confused. We're confused. We don't want to be confused. So if you have this conversation, let them know, do I want to be buried? Do I want to be cremated? And if you're a good person, you will already have plans in play so that your family members don't have to come out of pocket on that sad day. And remember, it's celebration. Celebrate those people. Because, see, if you've already prepaid for the services or if you at least have insurance that's available, that's less stress for the family members. They won't freak out. They'll be glad that you took care of them. And in this regard, hey, they're important and we matter. But if you don't care, that's up to you. But most people I know today, when they pass away, they want to make sure they don't leave a burden on their families. I've heard it too many times. I don't want to leave a burden on my family. What do I need to do? You need to go ahead and pre-plan. Go ahead and get your life insurance. Go ahead and get your final expenses. Get your burial instructions in, in place. Go ahead and let people know. Make sure you have all your documents in a place where as soon as you pass away in a plastic container right there in your bedroom where they can find it. So when you pass away, they can take care of all the credit cards. They can take care of the mortgage. They can go ahead and take care of all your insurance, your taxes, and, and close accounts that need to be closed. And in this regard, that's just a wise thing. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, and we are a sales guy. And today we just had a very simple conversation about selling, who's buying cremation services, and why it sells. 
It sells because people need it. People are dying to see us. They may not want to talk about it, but it's the truth, guys. So go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. I know it's a crazy subject. Cremation, yeah, we need to do it. Everybody needs to at least know what's going to happen to them so they ain't got to worry and leave a burden. So go out there and sell something and have a nice day. Cremation, yeah, I'm going to do it. How about you? All right.